What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of Tsunamiro.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada as I do you guys Monday through Friday bringing you journal content and videos so if that is what you're into please do subscribe give me a little thumbs up on this video it really helps me out. I pretty much post a new video every single day. Hi you guys how are you? Hi Jen what's up girl? So today I am back. I am pretty much um, all into the string quilts. Um, I made them the other day. All in, what was it, Saturday? Yeah, my live on Saturday. I made, um, I finished this one up and I did, which one did I do? I made this one out and I made this one too. I also made this one. Um, these were made with my um, Christmas jelly rolls that I got from Walmart. Um, these ones right here, I cut the strip in half. Hi, Sue. How are you? I cut this strip in half, and I thought, you know what? That's just, like, a little bit too much. A little too crazy. They look a little busy to me. So I decided um, next, after I went offline, I decided to um, use the larger, um, uh, larger um, jelly rolls and in between the smaller rolls. And then I decided, you know what? Let's just full on. Just use the roll, the whole string as it is, the whole <clears throat> strip, I should say, um, the whole strip size. And you know what? I kind of like it better. It's like less busy, still very Christmassy, but less busy. Um, look at this one, though. This one was really fun. With this one right here, I incorporated the um, rolls that I made using the receipt paper. You guys remember when? Hi, Patricia. You guys remember when I sewed on the receipt paper, those little patchworks that I got? So I decided to incorporate those rows into this one right here, which I thought was really fun. And to make it a little bit less crazy busy, I used the same um, plaid in between so that it makes it a little bit less busy, but then I still have all these different fabrics right here. So I really only had enough to make this one cover. So that's all I got me. <clears throat> um, but today I'm here. I want to make more, and hopefully I can make more than two, like one and a half in a in a hour, hour and a half that I go live. Um, so let's see. I have all of my. This is I opened up my other um, jelly roll. So this is four jelly rolls right here. Um, which if you go to the regular shirts, I got these from Walmart. They were like $6 each jelly roll. If I were to go to the regular stores, Walmart basically sells half jelly rolls. And then when you go to the stores, um, like when you go to Joann's or any fabric store, their jelly rolls are twice as big and twice the price. So I kind of, I'm like, okay about it. I feel fine <laughs> about it. And uh, so, yeah, I just want to keep making them because I am going to make the, the journal in different forms. I'm going to make uh, bigger spines. I'm going to make smaller spines. So I want to have a nice variety. I'm shooting to make about 12 of them. And then we'll work on the covers sometime, sometime soon, I guess. I'm not really, obviously I'm not rushing to get it done. By this Christmas, I'll be posting them in my shop as I get them done. I'm going to be working on these through um, throughout i be so skinny. <clears throat> I'll be working on these throughout the year, basically. So I'm working on tissue paper. Um, I'm going to sew on tissue paper. What you want to do, uh, the finished size is, let me see. Finished size. Let's see. It is 14 by 10 and a half, 14 by 10 and a half. Okay, so that gives me, um, my journal's covers always end up to be in five and a half, so that gives me enough for the cover and then the spine. I measured out, um, basically I put my journals I always make my journals the same size. So I put one of my journals here and I kind of just like traced around it about an inch around it. That's how much material I fold over. 
So that's the size that I make them. So just make them bigger. Uh, Nana's Crafting Corner, hey. Um, just make them bigger than um, what your journals um, end up being, right? Okay. Um, so yeah, this is just regular tissue paper from the dollar store. Nothing special about it. Um, you could use uh, notebook paper. You could also use, um, you could probably use the um, packing paper that I use to make my journals. You just have to make the stitch really small. My stitch is set to default settings, which is a regular, really, really short stitch. Um, let's start off here. I'm going to basically um, leave... I'm gonna make sure that this sews correctly. I always uh, fold over to the right, so that's how that's gonna look right there. And um, you wanna make sure that you have enough space up here and down here, because when it folds over, you don't wanna cut it too short. So I do cut it like maybe an inch or two above the tissue paper, beyond the tissue paper, I should say. And um, I have a nice selection of fabrics here. I'm excited to use them up. Um, let's do... I definitely have my favorites, though. Let's do one of these plaids next to it. And I'm going to cut it the same size as this strip. Next, what I'm going to have to do is work with my Christmas fabric crumbs. Those will have to be looked into. Okay, so now um, you want to have the fabrics facing the right way. So if this is going to go this way, then it needs to be... That one needs to go that way. This one doesn't get folded. This one does. That one's fine. Okay, so right sides of the fabric together. And you can pretty much start this way if you wanted to. You could start it this way if you wanted to. I'm doing them diagonally. It's just what I prefer. And nothing has to be perfect or anything. Again, right sides of the fabric facing each other. And I'm going to lay um, the fabrics basically covering this corner right here. And then I just kind of like let it roll to wherever it wants to sew to. Nothing has to be straight or perfect or anything like that at all. Let me get to my sewing machine here. I'm glad you're feeling better. Nana's cooking prep corner. Okay. Just making sure the little spikes are just really good. Just kind of let it roll to wherever it really wants to finish end up sewing it. And then what I need to do I need to go off to the side and iron this open like this. That looks so pretty. Give me one second. Let me get to my iron. I have it set up next to my desk. And I need to um, iron these apart, basically. So now we can continue on and I'm going to do this Christmas light fabric is so cute. I love this. 
Jude, hey girl. What is up? Happy to see your name pop up. I'm trying to keep all my fabrics together, but it's it's gonna be a mess soon. Soon, soon, soon. So again, I wanna go about an inch beyond right here. And on the other side too. The tissue might get a little bit wrinkled um, with the iron. So do be aware of that. I put this back with the rest of them. Sorry, they're all together. And we are going to sew now on this right side because I'm going to iron this like that. So let's get to sewing. Right sides of the fabric together. And let's get to the sewing machine. Thank you, Jude. I don't know if you, I've been feeling like YouTube isn't showing links right now, so I don't know if anybody can. Can anybody see? Jude's link. She just posted a link. Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Because that is exciting. And I'm just using a white cotton thread for this. Let me iron this open like this. So give me one moment. Off to the side. Awesome. I'm so happy I already can see the link. <laughs> yes. They haven't been allowing it for whatever reason. And now we're back. Okay. So now here we go. Now, everybody give me a little thumbs up if you are enjoying the video. I would really, really appreciate it. I think I will do this red strip here with these white snowflakes. I think I'll do that next. Give it some red and green. This time I have my tool cart next to me instead of trying to keep everything on my desk. So that's, that's great. Great that I remember what that's for. <laughs> it really helps me to have my little tool cart instead of having everything on my desk. That's why I have a tool cart. Hello, Dee. Hello. Hello. Okay. So let's sew these strips here together. It's a lot easier to work today than I had it yes uh, Saturday when I went live. I don't know what I was thinking, trying to keep everything on my desk. It's a big desk, but I also have a lot of stuff on it. And I need a lot of space to film, so I don't really have a lot of space to keep my tools. I don't have my fabric. It's just a lot. It's a lot. Oh, so tomorrow is my anniversary. Me and Hubby are celebrating um, 13 years. <laughs> I was 19 when I got married. And, uh, still working out. <laughs> so tomorrow, I'm going to be stuck in my face with food and chilling on the couch. <laughs> I mean, what's new, but it's my anniversary. <laughs> so, <coughs> um, excuse me. So I probably won't be going live tomorrow, actually. I'm probably just going to be chilling out. So expect me, what's today? Tuesday. Expect me on, no, today is Monday. Right? I'm not crazy, but right? today is Monday. <laughs> yeah, today is Monday, so expect me back on Wednesday. Just so I can have some time with my hubby. 
Okay, so now next, I think, I don't know if this will be the last one because I might need, sometimes you need like a little bit to cover this little corner right here. Sometimes I don't really worry about it. I think I do want to put one of these down. No, do I want to plaid? Maybe I don't want to plaid. Let me put a plaid down. I have a lot of patterns here. Zena, hi Zena. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Thank y'all, thank y'all. It's been fun. I haven't even noticed. <laughs> I barely noticed the time going by. <laughs> Let me use this one because it's, it's actually, hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. No, I want a plaid. <laughs> I changed my mind too much, you guys. Let's put this plaid right here. Yes. No, that's too much red there in the corner. Oh, too much red, too much red. Um, yeah. I really have a hard time here. Do, 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 do. I'm just being picky. No, you know what, let's go with this. <laughs> let's go with this. Sometimes when it's a little corner that's missing, I really don't worry about it because that's a bit, kind of a big spot, so. <laughs> okay, let's go with this one right here. Daisy, that is lace. Is that lace? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see here. I'm gonna get Olive Garden, y'all. I think y'all have heard me talk about Olive Garden like all month long. About how I'm gonna get Olive Garden. <laughs> it's just the little things that excite me, you know? It's just the little things. You know what? This one's kind of cute too. It's kind of like a close up. No, it's actually the same one. I thought it was a close up. It's not. Let's, um,. Let's do, I do have this one, it's kind of cute. All right, I'm gonna do this one here instead. <laughs> Thank you, Nana's cooking. Try to get the color distribution right. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go with this one first. So it's gonna go that way. So I need to sew it this way. Always like fold it back so you know how it's gonna sew because so, you don't want it to sew upside down. I mean, it's not the biggest deal. But some of the fabric would be nice if it was um, right side up. Just would be kind of nice. Thank y'all, thank y'all, but I mean, the jelly rolls kind of do the whole job. <clears throat> They're nice and pattern coordinated. There's really no miss here. <laughs> no way to mess it up. They're all coordinating, so. But I really like the green. I'm just trying to distribute the colors here. Okay, let me get this iron. This one here. It'll literally just be a little snippet of it. I might go IKEA tomorrow. I haven't decided if I want to go. <laughs> I haven't decided if that's romantic or not. <laughs> I probably will. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love Ikea. <laughs> so romantic to me. It is. I mean, he's like putting up with me looking at everything 10 times a week. 
like he's putting up with me going to Ikea, like knowing I'm not going to buy anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use the scraps. I was going to, I was thinking about doing it today, but I was like, hey, I think I need a little bit more scraps. So I'm, I'm working on some projects and working on getting some scraps at the same time. <clears throat> But I do work with a lot with scraps. I love me some scraps. Oh, Letitia, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so let's work on this side now. Gotta finish that. Let's get some of this brown. Let's get some brown up in here. This is kind of cute. It's not gonna show much of it, but let's do it. She's been a mo uh, Jude's been a moderator for me for a while now. For a while. Let's see. She comes to hang out. <laughs> She's awesome. So, it's Patricia. And all my other mods that come on from time to time. <laughs> There's always somebody on there. Um, let's see. This one I'm going to fold this way, so I want to figure out, there we go, that's how I want it. So now we're going to sew this way. <laughs> okay, so... This right here. And the amount of space that you sew here is it doesn't matter. Kind of gonna roll this over here because it's getting in my way. Crooked or not, <laughs> it's all good here. Um, Kind of pulling my my spikes here to kind of align. There we go. Let me iron this. Okay, 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 we're getting there. We are getting there. Look at all these, I'm gonna have so much scraps. You see this, all these scraps? I'm working, I'm working on getting some scraps. I'm working on them scraps. Okay, okay. Let's do, what do we want to do? Um, you know what? I'm going to put this red stripe here. This like peppermint stripe situation here is really cute. And I like it. Okay. Oh yeah, April. April comes around sometimes. Uh -oh. Everybody pops in and say hi sometimes. <laughs> Okay, okay, here I got my first scrap. <laughs> okay, so let's sew this right here. Uh, 
I like how you use the tissue on the correct side. Yes, it helps me out. It really helps me out. Okay, so I just need a little. You know what? I'm in the mood for some hot chocolate. Oh my god, it's so, so good. Okay, so this little bit here covered. I'm gonna find a little scrap. Hang on. I don't really want to get a whole other thing just for that. The tiniest little bit. Let's see. Does this help? Does this help? Yeah, that'll do it. This more than likely will get tucked in anyways. Snapped off here. Easier, you can go get a cookie on your anniversary. Hmm. No, but if I go to Ikea, I'm gonna get some dessert. I might make him order me some dessert from Olive Garden. Some fancy. <laughs> I hear they have a chocolate cake that's really good, so I might try that. <laughs> it might get me some olive garden. Which I never do, but we're going to bring it home anyway. So, I mean, I just eat it after, like an hour after. I never get this like, whenever we go there because I'm always, like, just stuffed. So, like, completely stuffed after I eat there. <clears throat> but since we're bringing it home, <laughs> then... Then I can have dessert later. Okay, got my cutter here. And this, I don't know why this keeps popping off. It stayed on for like a year. And now it wants to pop off every time. It just wants to pop off. Okay. Hang on. It's a lot easier when I do it this way. That's for sure. There we go. I don't feel like I'm going to cut my table. <laughs> okay. And here's my new scraps. Hello. Going to work on these soon. Real soon. So if you don't have one of these, um, for the longest time, I used my Sizzix cutting plates. So I'm just saying you can substitute. Okay. <laughs> oh, you like the tiramisu? I don't know if I've ever had tiramisu. I like coffee. I just don't know if I like coffee as dessert. Like, honestly, I don't know. That's really dessert. Scraps and scraps and scraps and scraps. All right. Okay. Okay, so put this all back now. Put that back. This is our cover. I love it. Why not? Why not? I love it. It looks fun to me. You got any cutting mat? Why? You uh why does your cutting mat suck? What? Okay, so this works here. I'm happy with it. Now we can start another one. I said I want a total of 12. 
I have six. So let's get more done. Okay. Next tissue, please. Thank you. Violet, hi, Violet. This size is, I think I said 14 by 10 and a half, right? This one's 14 and a half <laughs> by 10 and a half, almost 11. So 11 by 14. Um, but what you could do is basically whatever journal cover you're going to make, give it an inch around um, every side, and that's the size that you should make your tissue cover. So you want to make this cover um, bigger than what your actual cover is going to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this brown piece here in the middle because I love it. That's a scrap. Okay, so we're doing right sides of the fabric together. Let's do a. Let's do this green here with the deer. This is cute. Oh, this could be all deer related because there's this deer and then there's deer on this one too. Is there deer on anything else? There's deer on this one. Oh, this could be all deer. All deer all the time. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I'm already into it. I'm into it. That's a scrap. That has deer. That has deer. What else? I think there could be two strips that don't have deer, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do. I'm going to do this one, and then we'll do this one right here. Do these together. Aren't they beautiful? They're from Walmart, y'all. So if you have Walmart, check out their that has a fabric section, check it out. Um, if you don't, check it check them out online. Um, every store has really been really good about um keeping stuff in stock online that you can buy in store that maybe is not there. I mean, it keeps, I've been, um, if I see it, if somebody says they have it and I don't see it at my Walmart, I've been checking online because <clears throat> I'm not about to go to all these different Walmarts, right? Like I normally would, but um, it's not normal times right now. So check online. They might have them. They're, they're just, I would probably just look up Christmas jelly rolls. Maybe I'll look it up right now. Hang on. Ah! I've been meaning to get an affiliate. Um, meaning to sign up to be an affiliate with Walmart. Because I use them so much. Why not use the Walmart link? <laughs> Here. Do you, maybe it's because I'm not hitting my head on it. I think that's nice. <laughs> I think it's lovely not to hit my head. No, I have managed to hit my head with the camera where it is. I'm just that talented. I'm not really worrying about it where it falls. I'm just kind of keeping the same distance here and making sure my fabric stays together. Now the scraps kind of get in my way. Okay. Christmas is on the way, only two days left, right? Spaghetti. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go, okay, there's this one 
I love this spaghetti that I make, but there's this one seasoning that I've been missing. Um, there's this at the store called Winco. You guys probably maybe have heard of it. It's probably Winco. I think they're national. Um, they have this spice mix called pizza seasoning. Add that pizza seasoning to your spaghetti, and that is the best spaghetti in the world. Okay, okay. So now I got these two. Let me get this green one here, and I'm just, I need to go get it tomorrow. I need pizza seasoning. Okay, so we got this deer. This deer situation, I'm trying to make a thing. To make this thing here. Actually, I think I might put it here. Yeah, let's put it here instead. Let me see if I can. Now that we can have. Gosh, I just knocked my scissors. Now that we can have blanks. Walmart.com. Christmas jelly roll. I wonder if that's going to look like a donut. It looks up Tootsie Rolls. That's not... Maybe I'll look up fabric. <laughs> Duh! Maybe it's like holiday... Let's see. I'm looking online. I don't see it. I don't see it. None of those are Christmas, sir. I don't know if it's sir. I'm just saying None of these are Christmas. Why are you showing me this? Non-Christmas stuff. Christmas fabric. Um, no, none of that. Um, they have different Christmas fabrics on here. But not the one they have in store. I thought they might have had it, but I just I don't see it right off the bat. I don't see it in my initial... <clears throat> my initial search here. So, my bad. Thank you, Violet. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to be cutting. If y'all could see my fabric stash, it started off really nicely. And like I said, it was going to get like a mess. And it's a mess now. Officially... Officially a mess. Okay. So. Okay, this is the way I gotta sew it here. Try to make the biggest strips that you see here be um, deer themed. <laughs> for whatever reason, I feel like that's a good idea for this cover. Gonna go for it, you know. A reindeer, not deer, right? A reindeer. Oh my god, did you get it together? Also put together how many did I make? I think like 16. I made 16 of the um, cardstock and fabric journal covers that I made a week ago. Um, so I'm gonna have to start um, getting the signatures together for those. So that'll be fun. <laughs> And I also <clears throat> have to take this fabric here, these jelly rolls here, and I need to make Christmas trim. So that's also got to happen. So I'm going to be very busy with the Christmas all next year. <laughs> Christmas will never end for me, I suppose. I've got too much invested. <laughs> If I don't make 50 Christmas drum turtles next year, I've lost it. I've lost it. Okay, so. There we go, these deers. I've made them a thing now. 
Now I've got to deal with it. So there's this other deer themed toy here that I can put. And I was thinking I would probably even put that same fabric on this side and then finish it off with like a plaid or something. I think that's what I'm going to do here. So let me do that. So I'm mostly saying you do Christmas. What other things do you tend to do? Well, I've only been doing Christmas for the last three months. Otherwise, everything else is um, flower. <laughs> just flower theme. Just I really don't do any other theme. Really, I don't. <clears throat> everything else you'll see me do, it'll just be floral stuff, regular junk journal stuff. Um, I might do a Jane Austen journal because I do have Jane Austen printables. So I'll probably do one of those. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. But other than that, I really just do floral stuff. So I either do Christmas or floral junk journals. Ha! Ha! Christmas envelopes that I found today. There you go. There you go. That sounds like a good plan to me. Okay. So now, like I said, I'm going to put that brown one over here. So let's do that. There. <clears throat> I have a whole wall behind me of ephemera that I need to use up. So I need to get to making journals, journals, journals. I have journals already that I need to decorate. I have a lot to do, you guys. I have to do a lot next year. So I've made a lot of stuff this year. <laughs> That I need to use up. Okay, so yes, this is the way we do it. Okay. And then I am committed to my once a once a month weekly Christmas theme <laughs> journals. I'm gonna work on Christmas stuff one more time. Each month that should help me get a nice head start. <laughs> Forget the things I have, like the envelope punch board. I still have to use envelope punch board. I kind of don't really use that much. And I have a lot of scraps, so maybe one day I'll sit here and make a lot of envelopes. That sounds like fun. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. You guys know I got a lot of scraps. Oh my god. Okay, so. Now, the last pieces, I don't think I will make deer themed. I think I'll just use like plaid. Um, a plaid. You know, I really like this plaid right here. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna use this red snowflake plaid. Why, I don't know. I'm just really feeling it right now. <laughs> Just really feeling it. So I think I'm gonna do it. Aw, oh, you're you guys are too nice. You guys are way too nice. Too kind, too kind. I'm very slow at it, but I do make some pretty journals when I get to it. <laughs> When I get to it. Let's do this 
Mm -hmm. I just spent a lot of time doing everything it takes to make a journal. That actually making a journal, it I take I take a minute to get there. When I get going, I get going sometimes. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> Okay, to the iron. Well, actually, let me iron this. Can I cut out enough fabric for this piece? For this piece right here. I think I'm almost done with this um, snowflake fabric here. Sad. We just got started with the party and it's almost gone. <clears throat> Okay, okay, okay. My fabric is getting out of control right now. <laughs> it's out of control. Machine is way too far away. I know, right? Let's come close. Huh? Sometimes it has come close. I've seen people talk about, oh, it like literally sewed through my finger. And I was like, how does that even happen? But you know, honestly, I can see how it happens now. <laughs> I can see how it happens now. That makes sense now. Okay, so I just need to cover these little corners right here. Just the smallest corner that's probably going to get chopped off anyways when I actually make the journal. But let us... Let's pretend this, this is going to show up here. Okay. Two little pieces of scrap for either side of this. Okay. Put this to the side. Get this here. Go get it, go get it serviced, um, Nana's cooking. Go get it serviced. If you have not had it serviced in a while, it might be a good idea to do it. The way sewing machines are, though, sometimes it, like the service for this was $80. I could have bought a new one for 160 You know what I mean? But I've come to a point where I'm like, you know, I kind of like this sewing machine. I know this sewing machine. I like this sewing machine. Let me try and see if I can save it with the service call. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad this machine is still alive. Okay. So that one is done. Let me get my cutting board. I tried to sew mom's journal and the and it bent the needle. And busted in half my second. What? Whoa. Whoa. Like you tried to sew the signature like I do? Huh. How many pages did you do though? Because I've done too many sometimes. <laughs> Let's try. 
bring this up here. All these wonderful scraps for when I do my scrap quilts, which I can't wait to do. Oh, so excited. I love scraps, y'all. Y'all even know I love scraps. I really do. Chicken Alfredo. <laughs> you know what's disappointing though? Like I'm not gonna go into the um olive garden. We're definitely gonna do takeout. But my god, you guys, their breadsticks suck as soon as they hit the air for more than five minutes. They're just not good to go. <laughs> or maybe they give me the bad ones. I don't know. They're just not very fresh. They come already all hard. I don't know. That's the only disappointing thing about not going there. Look how cute this one is. It's got all these browns in it. It's very deer um, themed for whatever reason. <laughs> for whatever reason, I decided it to be deer themed. Not a fan. You're not a fan of the breadsticks? Me either. Y'all are fine. Y'all are too much. You only have one needle now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I only use I use regular needles. I don't use anything fancy. My boyfriend loves Olive Garden and I don't. I love Olive Garden. I like. <laughs> I love Olive Garden. I love it. But I, I literally always get the chicken Alfredo. So judge me as you wish. <laughs> Judge me. I don't even like the salad. Like, I really only like the chicken Alfredo. And my, you guys, they have like double the price of the chicken Alfredo. Is it just me? We really need to talk about these political subjects. <laughs> we really need to talk about what's real here. And the price of their chicken Alfredo, you guys, we really need to bring this up to our congressman because it's ridiculous. Who do they think they're fooling? I'm just saying. Oh, your stepmom is Italian, and she doesn't like that either, huh? Hang on, you. I'm trying to get my fabric under control because it has kind of gone a little crazy. Just like a little bit because I keep poking through it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go through this here. Okay, there's a lot more combos we can still do here. Okay. It's just everything kind of went a little crazy for a minute and a moment, but we're back. All right. We are back at it. I have too much. I have too much, but you know what I love it. I love it. I freaking love it. Okay. Romeo's, their breadsticks are so delicious. I don't think we have Romeo's out here. Oh, I love the Olive Garden. We don't have that restaurant in Canada anymore. Oh, no. They probably were like mad about the price of the chicken. The chicken off right <laughs> Ah, this one looks so pretty. I love this one. Okay, so this one's like one of my favorites. So let's do another one. I've never heard of Romeo's, so I don't know if we have that out here or not. Never heard of it. Okay, I think I might have enough time to do one more. Let me put stuff back on my tool cart so it's off my table. Okay. Okay, we're back. So 
and I said, now that for whatever reason I did a deer theme. <laughs> Let's just do, oh, we could make it a car theme with this one. Yeah, we could. I have a couple of these fabrics here have cars on them. Chris. Hey, Chris. What's up? What is going on? Okay, so we have this cool fabric here. Let's do a plaid. Oh, you know what? Let's do this black and red plaid. I love this plaid. It's cute plaid. Okay. I like these. They're like a little, you guys, I don't like the like cartoony, you know what I mean, type prints. I like more vintage -y look and stuff. They did have more cartoony looking fabrics, but I'm just not into it. Just wasn't feeling it. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just going to lay them on here. Again, I just start sewing here, and then I kind of just, like, let it flow wherever it wants to flow. I don't try and make it completely straight or corner to corner or anything like that. It's all good. I have a black and red plaid all over my house right now. Nice. To the iron. Ooh, that looks fabulous. Ah, I usually as I throw fabric on the ground for no reason. Okay, a little bit. I really need to use my tool cart more and stop trying to use my desk. <laughs> need my tool cart. Okay, so um, I guess it kind of goes like this more, but that, that is upside down though. I think it's not meant to be one way or the other. So I guess I'm not going to worry about it because this would be on the spine anyways, this part right here. So I'm not going to worry about that part. Um, let's do this brown piece here. No, I don't want this brown piece. No, I don't. You know what? You know what? I don't want that. Let's do the, um, no, that's too much red. That's too much red. I need some green, actually. I need something green. Ah, this part? No. You know what? No, 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 no. No more plaid, no more plaid. Let's go with the green deer fabric here then. Because I want some green over here on this side. Me some scraps around. Okay. I also have to make some short spine short pieces because I have some Christmas uh, little golden books I'm going to work on. Daisy and Jenna found your guys prayer journals and they can you. You'll get them after Christmas. Cool. Cool. Okay, good. 
Oh my god, am I even sewing correctly? I don't think I am. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've messed up before. Hang on. I was just sewing so calmly. Okay. I think I was about to make a mistake. No. No, I think I did. Let me see if I can fix it. Where I was sewing. Uh, needed to be lower. Okay. Okay, I think we can Yes. Here. really not a hard technique. It just requires a lot of ironing. It's a little annoying, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but it looks fabulous. It looks just fabulous. Okay, so next I'm going to I am going to put this poinsettia fabric on here. This is so pretty. What <laughs> they do, they do go a lot quicker. I love it. And you know what? Like I said, I think the other ones are cool. I just think they're a little bit too busy. You know what I mean? Like these patterns are already too busy as it is. Um, and when they were so narrow, they were just too busy. I couldn't see it at the time. <laughs> couldn't see it at the time, but I can see it now. <laughs> okay, so this point is here. Let's see if I can I said I was going to make it car themed, and then I did it, so that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. That's fine. Okay, so this one. This one does have little cartoons, but, like, look at these little snow people. They're so cute. I don't even mind. They're just adorable. <laughs> They're just so cute. Hubby said he might take me on a little shopping spree at um, that place that fixed my um, scan and cut. He said um, he might take me there and let me pick out some fabrics. Which I think the only fabrics I'd really spend money on are Christmas. Because I can't find huge Christmas fabric. Like. It's like almost unheard of. I guess everybody just hoards their Christmas fabric. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I think what I 
what I'd splurge on would be Christmas fabric. If they had any time. Because their Christmas fabric is fancy. Like their Christmas fabric has like gold in it. So fancy. How wide are their strips? I believe they are two and a two and a half wide. Two and a quarter. What are those two? I believe they're two and a half. So, I'm not going to worry about the tiniest little corner right there. But um, let's finish this one up here. Um, I think I will do... Um, we can do... Oh, we'll do the brown now. We'll do this brown here. This brown's a little... I don't know how... If I, I don't know how exactly how I feel about this fabric. It's a little weird. Noel winter wishes. Festive Noel winter wishes. Okay. It's fine. It's just like a little way. Eh. <laughs> okay. So let's put it here. And I've got to use it right when I use it up. <laughs> Yes, I need water. You're correct. But I've been coughing lately. I don't know what it is. Okay. So. I don't think it matters which way this fabric goes. So we'll just go that way. Okay. Okay. I always have a water bottle near me. Do I forget? Maybe. Maybe I do. <clears throat> Let's see here. I have a, I actually have a giant <clears throat> half gallon water bottle next to me. <laughs> I always have it nearby. I hate having to get up and go to the kitchen for a cup every time I finish a cup. Okay. <clears throat> right, you get so excited, and then with me talking, like, I really need to take more sips of water. Um, this here. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. And now to finish it off, to finish it off, you know what? I'm just going to use the same fabric I used on the other corner, I think. I'm kind of starting to like that. Yeah, let's just finish it off with the same fabric here. Coffee. I'm not much of a coffee drinker. Once in a while I'll get in the mood for coffee, but mm, I really have to be in the mood for it. Oh, I might need like another sliver of fabric over here on this side. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> Okay. All of my like nephews, like my nephew. Wait, who is my? I can't remember who is my ring bearer or my flower girl. My flower girl, she, she's in college now. <laughs> and I think 
my cousin was my ring bearer. Both of them. I can't remember which cousin it was that was my ring bearer, but two of the ones I think might have been it. Both have children, so that's like insane now. <laughs> I got it. That happened. <laughs> so it's 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 cool to see everybody grown up from when me and my husband were dating. You know what I mean? Like some of these kids were kids, and now they're all grown adults. It's cute to see the family getting bigger. I love it. I'm going to have so many nieces and nephews to meet next year. I think I, I think my, I think two of my cousins had babies this year. Two of them? Two or three? God, I can't even this straight. No, two. Two. So, that's exciting. No, three. Yeah, three of my cousins had babies. I'm thinking about, yeah, three of them. Okay, so I'm missing one little sliver. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to call the tape. Two of my cousins, and by cousins, I mean like they were little kids. Like, <laughs> they were little children. And now they have little children. It's so cute. It's too cute. Yeah, this year we're missing out on a lot this year. Everybody is. I get it. It sucks. It does suck. But let's uh, let's keep at it, and then we can see them next year. Scrubs, scrubs, scrubs. Gotta love the scraps. Okay. Just I was I was telling some, I have Chris was like, Don't you have Jen's number? <laughs> and I was like, No, but I think I should have it now in case I go live. And she's not expecting. I think I'm going to ask her for her emergency contact for when I go live and she's not here. <laughs> I think that would be safest for everybody. <laughs> Everybody's like, you can't go live with Mr. Jen. <laughs> Okay, so at this rate, shh, I'm gonna have time for one more. I'm, I'm working pretty quick here. This looks so cute, I love it. Again, there's really no getting it wrong <laughs> when you're working with coordinated fabric. So I gotta love it, I gotta love it, I gotta love it. So, okay, one more done, because that only took me like 13 minutes. I thought that was going to take me half hour, <clears throat> but I was wrong. <laughs> okay, so next tissue paper. I had the jelly print on the tissue paper that I cut off to cut this tissue paper to be this size. So I don't have to work on that. So, okay, so this one for sure, I'm going to make car themed. <laughs> For sure. So let's get a long strip here of the car in the middle. Because this is going to be car themed. Hello. Hello. Okay, because it has this other strip here that's also car themed. I went into here four on Sunday, so I can't do anything. Any meeting over Christmas. Oh yeah, I heard that happened. I heard y'all had to invent a nuke. 
everybody is basically having to invent a new color. Everybody was like, oh, the, the color red is the highest. Now they're like, purple is the highest. And I guess in your place, they're saying level four is the highest. So they're, do they're having to do that everywhere. That's how you know it's it's not good, y'all. It's, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to do... Um, let's do the snowflake one here. On this side. Because I don't think I have enough fabric to make it all card themed. Like with the deer. Spaghetti on the floor, no. <laughs> that's how you know it's good, right? If it sticks to the floor, I think that's what they say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's keep doing it. The last one here. Definitely goes a lot faster when I use the whole strip size. But I love it. Maybe I'll do these, just these two strips here, and I'll alternate them with the other fabric. That could be cute. That could work. It'd still be the car one. see my mom very often. I haven't seen her since I, they stopped by here because I needed to help my dad with something. But before that, I hadn't seen them um, since I picked them up from the airport and they came back from their trip. Okay, so now let's do this plaid. 
Maybe I'll do this plaid right here, actually. Yeah, let's do this, this plaid. And I missed the chance to go see my grandparents this year. Because I was going to be way too nervous trying to travel out. I, just, I couldn't even... Just thinking about it made my heart, my heart race. So I opted out of that. And uh, my grandmother has been in Mexico since last year. My other grandmother. So I haven't seen her at all this year. She got sick earlier in the year. And um, my mom went to go see her. I should have gone. But again, it was like literally in the middle of everything. There's been a lot of things I missed out on this year. What are you going to do? I'm happy I'm alive. I'm happy I can um, afford to pay my rent and my food. That's all I could really, that's what I'm really happy for this year. You know what I mean? I can't miss out on things. I'm still here, y'all. I'm still here. My grandparents are still here. So hopefully I will be able to see them next year. Don't know about my grandpa, but my grandma's for sure I can see. My grandpa is not doing well. Definitely, it's better to stay home right now. If anything, just anxiety can be <laughs> can be too much, too much. Um, let's see, there's a small one, but I don't. I think I need to. Yeah, I need it to be bigger than that. So let's cut off this piece here. Oh, this is perfect. It's like a scrap. Okay. Daisy, I think looking at Christmas bundle fabric pack. They are fabric. They are fabulous fabrics, aren't they? Aren't they? These are cute. These are really cute. Glad I got them. Um, let's see. So now let me put this one over here. Okay, okay. Oh wait, no, I'm missing a pattern. Duh, duh, Daisy. Okay, so pattern. Should I put this one? Try to keep it not be so busy. So I think I will repeat this pattern over here. Okay. Yeah, this yeah, this will do this way. <laughs> this is fun. This is my family I'm seeing is constantly exposed. My stepfather works at the hospital and my mother watches the social workers kids and my brother's a firefighter. And his wife is a nurse. Well, you have very, very family there right now. That's that is a lot of work, a lot of essential work there. I like 
how you put the fabric so even with oh I didn't. Um Nana's cooking. That's how they come cut. I didn't do that myself. That's how jelly rolls. I don't know if jelly rolls, all jelly rolls are like that with the serrated edge. Um, but it was already like this basically. <laughs> I'm not gonna take credit for that. I'm not. And I'll put this one right here, and I think that'll almost finish it off. Almost. Let's do that right here. Oh, they all come like that. Then I'll then I'll go. Just bye, Violet. Night for Smith. See y'all Wednesday. I will be going live on Wednesday. I'm gonna skip out on tomorrow and hang out with hang out my hubby wubby. So I will see y'all on Wednesday. Almost done here. One more strip after this, and then we're done. Hope y'all try this out yourself, either with jelly rolls that you purchase, or you could just use scraps from your stash. They don't have to be this thick. They can be any size, really. They don't even have to be even. Okay. Bye, Sue, girl. Be good. Be safe. Stay safe. Oh, darn. I think I put this upside down. So I'm going to have to fix that. I put it upside down. <laughs> I'll fix it. Um. Anyways, y'all, I'm pretty much done here. Let me do this last little piece here, and I'm pretty much finished. Actually, I'm gonna do this this piece right here. Why not? Why not? Okay, y'all. I hope y'all have a good night, and I hope y'all have a good day tomorrow. I'll be back on Wednesday at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 12 a.m. Central Standard Time and 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, okay. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. Thank y'all so much for the conversation and the tips. <laughs> I appreciate it as always. Thank you guys so much, and I will see y'all on Wednesday. Bye. Yes, I got these strips at Walmart. Um, you can buy them at different craft stores, different craft stores that have fabric. They're called jelly rolls. They're just strips of fabric. Okay, you guys. Bye.